Alright guys, Chris with Dillis Touch. I'm going to do a quick video of the different glues that I use throughout the year. Uh, I get asked this question a lot, so I just thought, you know, maybe I'll just do a little mini video um, explaining, you know, what I use. This is Maryland, so it's uh, temperature based. Um, so let's go up right now. Currently, it sits about 30 degrees, 40 degrees every day. And so I'm using the Cactus Green uh, Green Glue. Uh, it's kind of the staple. Uh, I've been using this for probably about six to eight years. I've tried to get away from it. I don't want to be as narrow-minded, but uh, the green seems to be uh, prevailing through almost anything, at least for our temperatures here in uh, Washington, D.C. area. Uh, some of the colder days, uh, the 20 degree days, or the, temp or the panel is extremely cold. Uh, this is called, I believe, the Swiss Blue. Um, you can get it from Anson. Uh, they have no marking on it, but it's the Swiss Blue. It pulls uh, quite well. Um, a lot of guys do like the, I think this is the Snowflake White. Um, just the um, elasticity of the glue. This one has a lot more flex than the Blue. So, and just to compare it, so this almost compares a little bit more flexed than the green but just to give you a little comparison here uh, and then the final glue that we use in the summer is the red and so we switch from the green right around that 80 85 degrees when it gets really really hot uh, and the panel is probably a hundred degrees or so so we switch to this glue, uh, glue right here which is the red it's the dent out red so just to give you a little bit of uh, information on the glue guns that I use, uh, I use the Stucky. I normally use the red and the Stucky, and then obviously the Eliminant, the green and Eliminant. Now, the Eliminant has two settings on this uh, gun. It's a high and a low. I always run the high, and then maybe if I need to preserve some battery life, I'll go down to the low. That's what I normally do in the Eliminant lights. Now, the Stucky is unique. I put a little notch right there. Hopefully, you can see it. Uh, and that is where the green glue tends to uh, want to sit at. Now the Stucky light also, you can just, I mean, look how much uh, range you have. I mean, it could, it, could, it could climb up to probably one of the hottest glue guns out there. Now, when you're probably using the blue, uh, the Swiss blue glue, you probably want to turn it up a little bit more. Uh, judging if you're outside, the wind is blowing, it's going to cool uh, down the gun a little bit so you can adjust accordingly that's the one nice thing about this stucky um, glue gun uh, but for us uh, if you turn it up too much it will start oozing out of the the tip because the stucky gun can get extremely hot now you also have to watch yourself when you uh, have uh, that much temperature in the glue because you can lose its uh, strength you can just pretty much break down the molecules where it's just an inefficient uh, glue uh, so when it, to me, if it starts coming out and it's bubbling, you may not get the full strength or the pulling power of the glue. So just balance that out uh, based on your temperature. And uh, if you guys are interested in other glues uh, that are on the market, Anson PDR, I'll probably leave a little picture right here. Anson PDR has a good uh, chart that you can go off of. Uh, they don't quite... Uh, tell you you know the real strength of the glue so that's why I wanted to show you guys the green and the red and the white uh, because those are my favorites but uh, it does give you some type of guide when you do order uh, I'll leave a link below and I'll probably just have display the picture of it right there so guys thanks for watching see you on the next video and hopefully you have a happy holiday peace out guys